Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Hope everyone's having a wonderful Tuesday morning. Um, I'm going to start out today about morning three to three a.m. morning prayer. Um, you know, around two, I think around around two two a.m. in the morning is when. The spirit, the spirit world is, is high active. I don't know if you guys know that or not. But um, <clears throat> that's the perfect time to pray to the Lord. That's actually the perfect time to be at his feet. <clears throat> and everything is still. And you can hear him clearly. And um, I just got recommended to do the 3 a.m. prayer for seven days. And you say, why watch seven? Because seven is one of the things in the Bible that is of completeness. Um, so I'm going to read here. I just lost my place. I'm going to read Psalms 55 about prayer. And as I've been saying, guys, we really need to pray for America. I mean, we need to pray for our nation. It's a circus, you know. And now you got the Democrats. I mean, not the Democrats. Um, no, the Republicans, the Democrats. Forget about them. They're a disaster to, to this country. Um, but the, the Republicans are actually going to the border to see how bad the crisis is. And um, so here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I said this when that whole big thing was going on with how they stole the election from Trump. Now, Trump should have won, right? Trump should have been in the presence. He should have been the president. They did everything in their might to steal his election, to put this body in power. And look what you got, a circus. Everyone is not happy. That what hap that's what happens when you do things like that. Because God did not like ugliness. You know, you, 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 you cheated this man's election. You gave it to this man, Biden, that didn't even deserve it. And look what happens. And look how he runs the country down. He runs the country in the ground. Well, whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? But anyway, I'm gonna get off of that point. But yeah, so we need to give thanks to ourselves for that. We wanted, but we didn't want Trump. We wanted Biden. Trump was actually trying to build a wall. He was trying to put a, a, a level of defense at the border to protect this country like other countries do. There's no country in the world that has open border. Every country must protect its border, protect its citizens. That's what we pay taxes for. Right? Okay. Sorry about that. I got off, I got off the point, but back to the word. Psalm 55. I want to read up to chapter 3, uh, verse 3. Give ear to my prayer. O Lord, O God, and hide not yourself from my plea. For mercy, attend to me and answer me. I am restless in my complaint, and I mourn. I'm going to actually reach verse 3. Because of the noise of the enemy, because of the offices of the wicked. For they drop trouble upon me, and in anger they bear a garden against me. So, 3 a.m. in the morning is when 
you block out all the noise. There's nothing really, your, your mind is, is pretty much clean. You know, and you know, I, I used to always, and, and, and I, I, I just realized it recently, but you know, for years, even when I was in Mexico, you know, before I became born again Christian, I used to always wake up like between two and three a.m. in the morning. Most of the time to go to go to the bathroom, but I used to always wake up at these times and don't and didn't know why. And then sometimes I still wake up at, at between two and three a.m. in the morning and um, can't go back to sleep. It took me a while to go back to sleep, and it's been like that for years. And didn't even know that was a calling that that's, that Jesus wanted to talk to me. He wanted to be, he wanted me to be at, he wanted me to be at his feet at those times. So yes, yes, we need to. Um, and sometimes, or le lately, it's been hard for me. To, even when I get up, I'm, I'm just so out of it. I just, I get up, go to the bathroom, and I just can't. I just go back to sleep. I can't. For some reason, I can't stay up now. But before, and then this is how the enemy. This is how the, this is how you know it's the enemy. Because before, when I used to get up three o'clock in the morning, I was so full of energy that I can't go back to sleep. Now that I became Christian, I get up to the clock and go to the bathroom, and I, and, I, and I know I should be praying, and I'm so super tired that I can't stay up. I go back to sleep. That's, that's what we're dealing with. So we have to be really, really fighting ourselves to get up and pray 3 o'clock in the morning. That's, that's actually the best time. To pray to Jesus, He wants to hear. He wants to hear. He wants to hear us. Do what we want. Now, I understand some people have different jobs. You may you may work at night, or <clears throat> you know, but okay, that's understandable. But you can still pray. You can still find time to pray even at your work. You know, um, even you got to go back early. Take time. From social media to go to bed early because you we all know that social media is is consuming a lot of our time strolling social media strolling that did it to me yesterday you know when i should have been praying i was strolling so i i i'm still struggling with that myself okay so we need to really focus more on Jesus and give him the glory and the praises that he, he wants from us. And we'll see changes in our lives and well for our community and our country. Because like I told you before, this country is like a circus now. I mean, now, they, now they're finally realizing that they made a mistake. But guess what? They, they still don't want Trump. They want to make another mistake. They haven't learned from the first mistake, but there's more to it. You know, you know this, is, this is where we have to look at the spiritual side of it. Because these people don't know what they do. This is a spiritual, we're actually in a spiritual war. It's more of a spiritual war within politics. Because what you see what's going on we don't we don't understand it because we don't see what's behind it, and it's definitely a it's definitely a agenda that Satan is trying to fulfill, and he's using these politicians as pawns. That's why us as Christians, the salt of the earth, must intercede and in stopping his agenda because these politicians don't know what they're doing. They don't know that they're being. I mean, some may know. But a lot of them may not know that they're being used by Satan. Like California is trying to pass a law for kids that to, to, to give the rights for kids at eight years old to be to, to give them the right to be a trans boy or a trans girl, or whatever. The LGBTQ movement on our children. They they want they they they're passing the law. 90 percent they have ninety percent votes on it. 
So most likely it's going to pass. This is this is ridiculous. You pass, you pass it. You're pushing this 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 LGBTQ on our children, but we already knew this was going to happen. But that's what I'm saying. It's not. We don't wrestle against flesh. We wrestle against principalities. And this is the thing. These Satan, his agenda. He's using these people to do this, to do his, to do, because he know his work, he know his time is up. Same time is up. So he's using whatever he can use before Jesus comes back. He, he's trying to, he's trying to get as many souls and people are, are walking right into the traps. So this is why we must pray. And this is why I'm making this video because we need to really be up on our prayer game and get our prayers up and pray for what's going on and intercede in Satan's plan because he's using these people and they don't know they don't know they're being used. And I, I said this years ago before even when I seen the whole thing when, when they were trying to steal when they was go, with, uh, I knew they was going to steal it, Trump's election I say Trump is our only hope. If they put Biden in there, he's going to destroy this country. It's already going downhill. It, 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 it's over for America. Trump is our last hope. I said that, and I don't know why I said it. It's just I. It's just I just I just something my spirit said, and I wasn't Christian, but something my spirit said that Trump would, would, would make things right. He would try to clean up the mess that has been done in this nation. But Satan, Satan and his minions don't want Trump in there because he know he because Trump is about good. That 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 will interfere in Satan's plan. So of course, Satan's gonna do whatever he can to keep Trump out. So we must get into the spiritual world and pray and see. Okay. Um. As far as that, I think that's it. You know, like I said, we, we, you know, instead of strolling on our phones, get some sleep so we can wake up and be fully awake. Go throw water on our face. That's what I'm gonna start doing. When I get up, go to the bathroom. I'm gonna throw some water on my face so I can wake up. Cold water because we need to intercede. We, we need to get on a prayer game, not just for us, but for everybody. Because like I said, this is not just about us. This is not just about one person. This is about everybody. We need to try to save as many souls. We need to, to, to really do God's work before his son comes back soon. Because his son is coming back soon. Jesus is coming. There's so many rapture dreams. I haven't had one rapture dream yet. I had I've been having a lot of tsunami dreams, but I haven't been having any I haven't had one rapture dream. But I've been looking lately, it's like this year, because I stroll down on YouTube a lot and see what's going on. All of a sudden there's been an increase of rapture dreams. An increase, significant increase of rapture dreams on YouTube. More than I ever seen before. And I wasn't even looking for them. They just pop up out of nowhere. People just come on with rapture dream. Don't even don't even have much of a channel. They just sharing it, sharing their testimony about rapture dreams. Um, yeah, that is telling you that shit, we need to wake up. These people from all over the world, all over the world have rapture dreams. Because in the Bible it said that old men would have dreams, children have visions. The Bible said that. The Bible is the the Bible is actually coming. To, we're living it. Everything the Bible is speaking about, we're actually living it day by day. It's, it's, so people cannot deny the Bible because we're living it. it, 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 it you, you, you can't out of any other religion. Holy Bible is the only true living proof of, what's, of the times we're living in today. 
and it's over 2,000 years old. How can you explain that? So you non-believers, you can't say that the Bible is just a fairy tale book. We're actually living in it. It's like a script of a movie. We're the actors, the Bible is a script. We're the, we're the actors in the movie, and the Bible is a script. Because everything is, is preset, as the Bible said it is. And we're living in it. So, I gotta just say, you need to wake up. Non believers, you need to get right with Jesus before it's too late. Because I would hate to see people, I don't want to even think about people here doing tribulations. I will be for, even for Christians, it is going to be terrible. They already, I think I made another video. They're already trying to, they have 50 countries already that they're doing the digital ID where you don't, you won't be using a, real, a regular hard ID no more. It's going to be on your phone. It's going to be on your app. Using facial recognition, biometrics, and everything. So listen, as the Bible said, they are already setting up the foundation for the mark of the beast. They already set up the foundation for the mark of the beast. They didn't put, they're not putting chips yet. It's just going to be on the app. The digital ID is going to be on the app. It's going to be linked to your your bank account, your assets, everything you have, and you won't be able to get on it. You won't even buy, buy a SIM card. You won't even buy, buy a SIM card without using your ID. Now, here's the thing. I was talking to a lady the other day, and she mentioned something about, I don't know, it has something to do with, with, your, with the barcode on the back of your, your job license. Now, this is nothing new in America, especially with some banks and casinos. When you go to a bank, when they verify your, your ID, they always do the barcode, right? Um, and that's to open the account. Well, now with Capital One, everyone that's here in America is probably familiar with Capital One. I opened my account with them a month ago, probably two months ago. And when they deposit money, I don't got to give them an account number no more which I thought was kind of crazy because with most banks, like Citibank, I know Chase, I think it's one, you use your, you just, you just use your, your debit card and you stick your debit card in, you put your, you put your pin number in and it opens the screen and the teller sees your information. Well, guess what? Capital One, you don't need, all you need is your driver's license. Your big account is they is linked to this barcode. They go like this, beep, and your account pop up. Now I thought that was kind of shocking. Well, not really shocking, but they wasn't using it before that. They was only using your your driver's license when you open the account to make sure that it's not a fraudulent document. Well, Capital One is able to scan your driver's license. You don't gotta give them no account number that's giving you a driver's license. And the lady from the UK was like, oh, they can't do that. Well, yeah, they can, they've been doing it. Yeah. So, as you see, my family, Infrastructure is already there for the market to beast. They just gotta get everything all up. All the countries just gotta get together now. And once every country gets together, now they can imp imp improvise the, 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 the chip because the technology is already getting set in place. So non-believers should know that if you don't, you think it's, this is all just a big believe book. Now we're living in the days that the book is saying, you can't deny the Bible. No one can deny the Bible. So, um, this video is kind of getting kind of long, 20 something minutes. 
Okay, guys, I want you guys to have a wonderful day. Be safe. Stay blessed. Pray up. And um, see you on the video.